In this video, I'm going to talk about this stuff, hemp butter, uh, and I'm going to try and make it as well. Um, it's a product that I've grown to love um, since I've moved to Latvia, and I really want to have a go at making my own. So stick around to find out how I do it. Welcome back friends, welcome back to the homestead, back in the kitchen um, and like I've just said we're talking about hemp butter and hemp. Um, before we start, hemp is not marijuana, they are the same family but they are two completely different plants. So um, let's be a bit grown up, a bit adult about it. Um, for those of you in the UK who are not used to being able to grow hemp, um, it's widely grown here in Latvia and um, widely enjoyed by many people and is an incredible plant actually um, for what it gives and um, in terms of it's the health benefits of the seeds and what you can do with the plant and um, that's that side of it I'm not going to discuss in this video this side is really about um, the seeds and um, the hemp butter itself so what is hemp butter um, the nearest equivalent um, if you've not had hemp butter is probably it's not really a fair comparison, but peanut butter, um, certainly uh, in that kind of, that consistency um, in how it is. So um, here it is spread on some butter and, um, you know, uh, yeah, it's certainly got the consistency of peanut butter. It's a much stronger nutty taste um, and you don't tend to get like with peanut butter, you get smooth or crunchy. I mean, it's just, it's kind of a, a halfway between. Now, um, there's quite a few hemp farms here in Latvia, um, and I've got some products here. Everything on this table is 100% hemp. Um, nothing added. On this side, we've got the seeds, um, and this side, we've kind of got the the other products. So, um, in you know, seeds you can get um, in most health food shops, um, eco shops, and direct from farms and farmers markets and stuff like that. Um, I've grown my own hemp this year, so I've got my own hemp seeds. Um, this is my little modest hemp harvest. Um, and um, this was a bag I just got from a local cook store, um, grown in Latvia. Um, this is hemp seeds from a place called Obelisk Farm. They're down in Ludgalo, which is a um, completely the other side of Latvia from us. I'd love to get down to these guys and visit them. Um, young couple doing amazing stuff with hemp, teaching um, how to eat it, how to prepare it, how to use it for um, sustainable building techniques. And they've got a hemp museum and stuff like that. I'll leave a link to their channel down below and, and a link to their site. Um, and I'll hopefully connect with them and get out to them next year to see what they're doing down there. But um, there's a bag of hemp seeds and they've got a bunch of other products on their website as well, um, including hemp butter. So here's two examples of hemp butter, 100% um, hemp, like I said, nothing added. The only difference uh, between these, um, I would say is this one is, uh, well, this one's a bit more runny, it's got more oil in it, um, but it's hemp oil, it's, like I say, it's 100% hemp. So, um, that's those two, and we'll look at those. Uh, I'll show you what they're like when you spread them on bread. Um, these are hemp hearts. So what you can do with the hemp is you can actually make butter from the three different parts. So there's the whole hemp seed crushed. There's hemp shells. You can then split the seed, which actually is technically a nut as well. Um, classified as a nut. You can split the shell, take the shell off, or you know the outer husk, and then grind that as a product, and then the hemp hearts, which is the bit inside, um, equally you can um, have that as a separate product. The hemp shells um, are very full, have got a lot of protein in them. Um, and then there's the hemp oil. So you cold press, um, this is uh, from uh, Raman's farm. Um, this one here, the uh, cannabis cyst, um, this is, which is, hemp butter. Uh, that's from a farm about, I don't know, 20, 15 kilometers over that way. <laughs> um, very close to us. And uh, hopefully I'll get, them to get out to them as well. Um, so yeah, cold pressed hemp oil as well. So I, I need these two products to be able to make the butter because I can't produce my own hemp oil here, even though I've got the seeds. Um, so that's why I got the hemp oil separately. 
Um, and not to be confused with CBD oil. This is not CBD oil. This is just cold pressed hemp oil, like you would get cold pressed rapeseed oil um, and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess the next step really is, is how we're going to make the hemp butter. Um, I've heard from a guy I know on Twitter that you can just grind it up with a coffee grinder, um, you know, like one of those spinny um, bean uh, grinder things um, or a food processor I've seen as well and the trick will be is trying to get it right with the oil oil and seeds um, so yeah let's do that and then I'll talk about some of the health benefits uh, or many of the health benefits of the hemp seed hemp plant as well um, so uh, let's get making our butter okay so we've got our coffee grinder filled up and whizzing around and it seems to work actually really well so just like oh, that guy told me and you need to give it a shake around because all the stuff because it's quite an oily seed and um, it gets stuck to the side so you just need to shake it around to get it ground up and it's quite a coarse mix um, this time around okay so hemp uh, health fact number one is that a 30 gram serving of hemp seeds contains 9.5 grams of protein so they're really high in protein and also uh, 1.2 grams of fiber and now what we can do is we've got our ground hemp seeds and i'm going to work out about the oil first attempt to uh, get the oil in this time you know i won't really measure it, i'll just put a big dollop in um, and see uh, what happens hemp health fact number two is that hemp seeds are a good source of iron vitamin e manganese magnesium b vitamins and zinc so let's give it a go and we'll um, stick it on some bread. So it spreads okay. Um, I would say it's kind of borderline. A pinch of salt and uh, give that a taste. And you know, it tastes okay. It tastes quite hempy. Um, but uh, I want to give it another go and I want to try and get it um, a little less coarse. And then I'll be a bit more scientific in measuring um, the oil to grams ratio. So I'm going to try first of all with three teaspoons of oil. And you know, it look, it's, it's quite dry, I can see it's quite dry. Um, so I'll try another one. Still not quite there, almost there. It's still a bit cakey. So uh, another teaspoon. Hemp health fat three is that hemp seeds contain all nine essential amino acids. I think it's kind of borderline ready now, but I'm going to, I'm going to try one more. Um, it's a generous one. And it seems, I think it's good to go now. Um, it's less viscous. It spreads well, doesn't tear the bread. Um, don't forget my salt. It tastes good, so I'm going to save it, but it's not the same taste as the other brands that I've been buying. So I think what they're doing is they're toasting the seeds. So I'm going to make another batch, 100 grams of seeds, and I'm going to toast them and um, then have a go. I'm trying to work out how I'm toasting for, and I think once you get the little seeds popping, like you can hear now, then it's ready. So I'm going to take these off, decant them into a glass jar that I can easily put them pour into the grinder and we'll grind them up the same using my little coffee grinder. And I can see straight away that it it's, looks different. Um, it's not as dark and the smell is definitely that toasted smell. It's a very different kind of hemp smell. Okay, so let's get our oil in there. Um, I'm going to start with um, four teaspoons, one, two, three, we'll call that two, it's quite generous, and um, a third stroke fourth teaspoon, mix it up. Obviously it's 100 grams, it's a lot drier which is the four, so we need to get um, a bit more in there. Here's number five, number six, still not quite right there, could be, but I think We'll put a seventh in there. Yeah, that's looking good now. I like, I like the texture of that. Spreads well. Doesn't stretch the bread. Get our salt on there. And um, just wipe the salt in, spread it out. And then I give that a taste. And I really like the taste of this actually. 
and it's, it's exactly as um yeah big thumbs up just what i wanted so i'll get that in a pot and i think we're done okay we're, we're we've made our hemp butter and it tastes amazing um i, I kind of guessed or i had a suspicion that they were toasted uh, to start with but i couldn't be sure because um i've never made it and yeah um and another video i'd watched didn't toast them so anyway i mean they're both they're both nice toasted or untoasted so there's three variants it's quite a coarse more drier version more difficult to spread than this the one you saw finished which is quite liquid um well so that had uh four five teaspoons in just for the 50 grams and then that one had seven for the um 100 grams of seeds but i'm guessing if they're toasted they release their own oils easier um but you can fill about with it and get it to the consistency that you like i suppose and, and experiment it's really good for you alternative for breakfast to spread on toast it's easy on toast i did it on bread on this video but it's easier much nicer on toast i think anyway or perhaps uh latvian rye bread black bread um but th that's got its own quite strong taste as well so if you really want to taste the hemp you need it on, on white bread um have a little bit of salt on it as well nothing has got salt in it put your own salt on um i think it tastes it just brings that taste out a little bit better yeah that's about it really i hope you find it interesting um like and subscribe uh, if you did or give us a thumbs up if at any moment you did like the video um tell your friends tell your neighbors um tell a random stranger in the street about what we're doing um lots more videos coming up and um i think that's about it um so what i'll do is say bye for now and i'll see you in another video